Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. So today we are going to be planning this week. I can't believe that we are in the middle of May. And I decided that I want to use this kit from Heather and Plants. I think that this is called Sunshine or something like that. She sent me this kit and I don't know, I was looking for a kit that I want to use this week and I saw this and I said, okay, this is going to be for this week. And this is on premium mat. The kit came with some glitter headers, the full boxes, some headers and little things, this beautiful um, washi, some appointment labels or quarter boxes, and this um, bottom washi that is super pretty, and this hard check flags, some flags, the weekend banner, and some um, half boxes. But this kit didn't come with date covers, or as you can see, um, this didn't include um, hard checklist and also the weekend the um, sidebar. So I don't know what I'm going to do. It's going to be like a challenge for me, but it's okay. I think that for the um, for the date covers, I'm going to use these ones from Rose Color Days, and these ones are on violet. This like purpley one. I really like them, and this is on gold foil, and I'm going to use this. Um, numbers also on gold foil from my newest addiction and I think that I'm going to include also this beautiful bow washi that it's like a lilac one from Simply Gilded so yeah I think that I'm going to white out some of the days here and I'm going to start as always with the day covers and with the bottom washi so I decided that I want to white out the date on the planner so I did out did it um, out of the camera and I grabbed some big flags that I had on a sampler sheet from other shop and I like cut it to fit the little flags that came in the pages, like in the sides. And after that I placed all the date covers that are from Rose Color Days as I told you before and these ones are on gold foil as well as the, as the numbers that are from my newest addiction and they look super pretty, I really like them. And this is the first time that I'm using one of these date covers and I think that it, it matches the kit really really well. So after that I place the bottom washi but as you can see I white out everything before. Just because this bottom washi is really light and it's gorgeous really, it's one of my favorite things on this kit so I wanted to look that this part look really really beautiful so that's why I white out everything and I think that looks amazing really. I wish that she uh, include more of this pattern on the kit because it's really beautiful. So after that I decided that I didn't want to use the headers that came with the kit so I wanted to do something different but um, you're going to see that I did something different also with the full boxes so I decided that I want to grab three of the four um, colors that came in the glitter headers and I used this red like really vibrant red this really beautiful violet and the other color is like um lilac and really light pale um like blue light and i don't know how to describe it but it's really pretty and each color is really different but all together look really nice and i think that the red one really pops up and i feel that gives something to the spread like really different so that's what i really like it um then I start placing the food boxes and as you can see it's the first time that I do something like that. On one of my latest videos, plan with me videos, I did something different too with the full boxes but I never did something like this that I placed the full boxes um all over the page the pages. So yeah, it's pretty different for me and I'm not used to it. I really like to have like a structure um, space so I can see everything and it's really organized for me. But I just wanted to do something different for this spread. And I did the same with the hard check flags. I placed them all over the pages and I really, really like it. And I try to match, this, to match the hard check flags with the glitter headers so it would look nice 
and after that I start working on my sidebar and it took me a while I use as usual I prefer the quote one on the sidebar so I took that one and for all of the stickers that you are going to see on the sidebar these ones are left leftovers of my of the kit that are from my newest addiction and it's called succulent blooms and the plan with me video I did it last week so I have all the leftovers and I decided that I will use it just because it matches the kit the colors and as you can see I use the glitter headers that came with the kit but then I decided that I want to change it and I grabbed these violet ones that are from pretty on paper comb and I really really like it I feel that this matches the kit perfectly and I like it better so yeah I did three section sections um, the first one is workout the second one is goals and the third one third one is this week so yeah and I really like it but I have to say it took me like I don't know forever to do it um, then moving to Monday I mark my plan with me video that you are going to see this on Tuesday because I didn't have enough time to do this. Um, I mark also that I have to do a babysit in the night, at night, but in the morning I have a trip with my work, so that's exciting. Then for Tuesday I have a meeting in the morning, so I need to mark that with one of the meeting stickers from Peel Pandemonium, and then I use one of the girls from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark the laundry day. On Wednesday I have the day off so I use this sticker from my news addiction and a half box to mark my me time with, with one of the girls from Fox and Pip that I really like. And then I use a little thing to mark the that I want to watch Pretty Little, Pretty little Liars when, with one of these TV foil stickers from my news addiction. Then moving to Thursday, I mark that I want to upload the May monthly spread, but I'm going to upload it on Friday, I think. And also I need to work at the pub, and I place another of the Peaceful Mind Design girls and one of the Fox and Pip girls to remember that I need to clean the office. On Friday, I mark that it's the PVC, PVC sale start. Um, so I'm really excited about that and also I marked that Paper Dove Shop is releasing her anniversary box that I really really want to grab and also on that day I have a beach party and also I'm working at the pub until really 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 late so that's why on Saturday I placed like a pillow sticker that you're going to see in a minute uh, from my newest addiction just because I'm going to sleep at, until late I know <laughs> and I place this half box because I'm going to the move to the cinema with my friend to watch Alien and also I mark that it's a PV sale because um, it's like lasting for three days or something like that on Sunday I use this half box to mark that I want to plan memory keeping and also that the PVC sales is ending and I use this end of the week sticker from Peel Pandemonium well guys this is the final result and I really really like it it's pretty different from what I'm used to but I like it I have to say that at first without the pen was like really weird for me but now that I wrote everything I'm pretty happy with it and as I told you, it's pretty different from what I'm used to. I'm going to show you what I have left. I have all these glitter headers, some of the half boxes and the weekend banner that I didn't use, some of the washes and one of the quarter boxes. I use all the full boxes and I have all these um, headers and these little things just because I use all the um, glitter headers. So I'm going to leave in the description box every shop that I use and as you can see I use some of different uh, some different shops not just this one header and plants I use Clever Galcraft, Fox and Pip, uh, Peel Pandemonium etc. So I'm going to leave everything in the description box so you can see what I use and please give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you on my next video. Bye!